Hey guys, welcome back to another live stream. Oh, real quick, I need to actually make sure that we have the correct camera on. This is actually the wrong camera. I've got two cameras. This is the top one. In one second, I'm going to change my webcam to my good one here. Okay. <laughs> it's not too much of a difference, to be honest. Both webcams are fine, but I actually have two webcams on my computer setup. I know it's crazy, uh, but it's because sometimes we film you know, two different angles or something like that. But anyways, welcome back to another live stream, guys. Kevin here from Lakeland, Florida. What's up, Kevin? How are you? Thanks, everybody, for being here. We're going to be doing some testing here. As you guys who have been watching these uh, monthly streams on a regular basis, you know this. We do about a 30-minute session where we do some back testing. We test strategies, concepts. A lot of times I do strategies that you guys are actually requesting. Uh, and today we're going to be doing something pretty fun on that side of things. Um, if you've never back tested before, get comfortable. This is going to be fun. I really enjoy doing these sessions and they are always kind of exciting. It's a good way to test concepts. And, and some people like back testing, other people don't. I'm a person I actually, weirdly enough, really like back testing. Um, it is essentially simulated trading without actually having to take real uh, money on the line, right? So we are going to be testing something a little different today. We're going to be doing a five-minute strategy, not something that I usually do. And again, as true to our recent theme, we're going to be, we did a lot of trend following strategies for a while on these streams. Today, we are going to be taking a look at some mean reversion strategies or continuing a concept that we've been doing here uh, recently. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys, everybody in the chat. There's a lot of you tuning in. Welcome, welcome. We got 117, 118 people. If you're enjoying the stream real quick, just hit me a thumbs up button down below. Today, again, we are going to be doing some back testing of some, uh, some indicators. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Today, we are going to be using uh, a simple RSI in combination with something else. So we're going to be using a four-period RSI but we're going to be doing something kind of fun. So first of all, let's get our RSI going. Okay, so we have an RSI four period. Guys, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be, give me one second, I got to add our indicators. So we're going to be doing some simulated testing. You can see I can click play and unclick play at any time. So I'm going to do the four, I'm going to do the, uh, the seven. I'm going to apply this one as well. So let's actually, can we make this a different color? Let's do, let's do purple. Why not purple? And let's make it a little thicker because it's kind of hard. We want to, we want to thick with two C's on this one. Okay. So we have, uh, we have a seven period RSI and we have a four period RSI. And so this is going to be an RSI day. We're going to be testing the RSI out, which if you're never, if you've never used the RSI, I, I actually love the RSI. I don't use it super often to make trading decisions, but I do use it often to study pullbacks. And I'll get more into that um, perhaps in another video, but uh, we are going to be doing uh, some more of that. No stream today, Chandler. Uh, Ivan, we do have stream today. Uh, this is just a pre-stream. We're doing some, this is a, uh, a back testing session before the show. It's one of those long streaming days. So um, Chandler will be in momentarily. He's, he's pulling up to the office now. Anyways, um, so we're going to be using a couple RSIs to make some simple trading decisions here. And I need to actually edit these RSIs further. Um, I want to actually add levels here. So we're going to use the standard. Um, we're going to use the standard line charts here. Okay. Let's do this really quick. And we can just make that solid. Let's see. Apply. Okay. It's on there. 70 and 30. Maybe I just need to change the color a little bit. Um, okay, levels. Maybe I just go for a slightly different color. Maybe that's the issue. Let's go style. Let's go solid. There we go. Okay. And now I just need to do the same thing with this level here. Okay. And we can go here. All right. Okay. So what we're doing here, guys, is we're going to be doing some simulated trading, meaning I'm going to be taking hypothetical trades and testing a concept here uh, on stream. So um, let's do this. Let's do this. Make sure we can see it now. Apply. All right. And then, of course, our last one, 
needs to get changed as well. This is just for reference so that we can see it a little bit better. Let's do this. Let's change the colors around. Da, 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 da. Okay. So all we are going to be doing here with this simple concept, I'm setting up my indicators with you guys here just to show you, you can do all the things that you'd like to do, of course, with this software. Um, we're just gonna change the colors here and apply. All right, so the strategy is relatively simple. We are going to be taking an initial trade on a close of a candle outside of the 30 or the 70 on the RSI, four and seven respectively. So for example, this trade right now is good for a market order. Now, of course, this is just a testing simulation. I'm just showing you guys how the software works to give you an idea. What we're going to do here is we're going to buy this market because we've closed uh, on a lower uh, RSI. So we're going to buy this. And you can see we have a little bit of spread built in. This is the cool thing about this software. It's pretty good example uh, there. I've been to, I'm not exactly sure, but Chandler will let you know very shortly. Uh, I, I believe probably 9.45 is when uh, you're welcome to join. I think 9.45. But again, Chandler is the master behind these streams. I, I'm just a puppet. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now the other side of things is how are we going to exit this trade? Well, we're going to wait for the opposite signal to print. So keeping it really simple, when the opposite signal presents itself, meaning we go... Um, there we go. Meaning we go overbought, right? So we're buying oversold, we're selling overbought essentially. And then we're gonna go short. So let's take some example trades. Let's slow this down so we can actually watch. So as you'll see, as soon as I hit play on this, so you can see we've got already here, we're gonna wait at least, the rule is at least three candles to the downside here before entering another trade and only entering a second trade if this RSI seven remains oversold. Okay, so let's see. Did we get it? Uh, we did, but by the time this candle closed, I'm going to say it was a little too far gone and we kind of missed the trade. So let's see. We're waiting for an oversold reading to perhaps enter a second trade. We did not get it. We're still in our trade. And remember, the rule is to close the trade if we get an overbought reading. So let's slow this down so we don't miss our, our execution here. Just speed it up just a little bit here. Let's see how this candle closes. And then we were, again, we're just stricting, we're strictly following a simple set of rules to test this concept out. In a second, guys, we are gonna be doing a giveaway, by the way. All right, did we close overbought? No, we didn't. So we need to keep holding on. All right, so we have not seen it just yet. All right, and we're waiting for the candle close. Wow, that's quite a good move there. All right, got the candle closed. It is now time to go ahead and close our position. So now we can just, just like a, like as if the market was live, I can close positions. So I just bought this market. Again, it went against me. I did not get a chance to take my second entry, but the market eventually kept rallying. Now, I need to add a third RSI because the concept here is that this is a mean reversion concept where we're going to be adding two trades. Now, again, this is why we test because, again, there are risks involved with any strategy that you're going to use out there. Uh, but what we're going to do here, let's make sure that we do our styling correctly. I'm going to just go here, keep that simple. Okay. And then we're going to add another one. This is, again, this is our third potential entry here. Okay, so now we have several RSIs on our chart. It is RSI day here. We have a 14, a 7, and a 4, okay? So um, let's continue on. But before I do, guys, I do need to make sure that we do our giveaway. So Forex Tester, who is the software you're, we're using here today, has been kind enough to set us up with some cool uh, freebies for people who are recent subscribers to Forex Tester 5. So here's some information, okay? Forex Tester 5, for those of you guys who already have a Forex Tester 5 account, your account number has already been added to today's giveaway. And the first winner here is going to be for an iPhone 14. So people who purchase access to these uh, to the Forex Tester platform, they automatically get entered into these raffles that we do each month on the streams. So if you don't already have it, uh, 
again, when you do join, you automatically get entered into their uh, their giveaway stuff here. So we're going to be picking one random winner. This is a iPhone 14 giveaway, uh, which is really exciting. So congrats to whoever wins this. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to pick our first winner. Again, this is going out to people who have recently or already purchased um, the 4X Tester 5 uh, uh back testing software. So let's see who our winner is. And our winner is for the iPhone 14. There it is. If you have, uh, sorry, my ad blocker stuff just freaked out. Okay. We have our number here. This is our first winner. Okay. Uh, this is our first winner. I just sent that over to our team there and let's go ahead and, uh, and this, uh, this thing is freaking out on me. We need to run it again. So now we're going to pick two more winners. Dang, look at this. This has given us uh, some issues. Turned off my ad blocker. Okay, so um, we're having some issues with this. This ad blocker thing does not want to let us do this without... Uh, I don't even have an ad blocker, I don't think. Well, actually, yes, I do. Okay. Anyways, hold off on this, guys. The remaining two people, we are going to be selecting winners. Uh, we may have to do this off camera. Um, can you do winner for second two people? Site is giving me issues with ad blocker. Okay. No worries, guys. We're going to work that out anyways. Just bear with us. The first winner was selected, so we did get at least an iPhone 14 winner. Um, can you send me the two winners also? All right. There we go. We are back. Let's do some more testing. So we're going to keep going, guys. For the people who uh, who are waiting to see who the winner are for the remaining two people, I'm just going to have my associate help me out with that. She's going to she's going to run the numbers and give us two random winners as well. But again, I'm having just technical issues, and I want to keep the stream rolling for you guys. So we're back to the testing, and again, let's see if we can get into another trade. So remember, our first trade is to buy or sell based on an overbought or oversold reading. We have an RSI four reading, so we're going to have to go ahead and sell this market for our first trade. So we're going to sell and we are in our next trade. Again, our signal to exit is the opposite. So we're just always going to be in a trade. This is a perpetual trade uh, strategy. We're just testing it out here today. So again, we are looking for an oversold reading to close our first trade. Okay. And you'll see things do get interesting when as we, as we play along with this. Which pair is this? We are taking a look at Euro USD. We're testing on a five minute chart. And we're letting the trade run. All right. Did we get an oversold reading? We're very close. Let's slow it down so we can just watch this close. All right. Did we get an oversold reading? We can actually check. Yes, we did. Uh, actually, did we? Nope. 30.82. We're going to stick to the rules here. We are holding this until we print on a close a oversold reading. Okay. So if we don't get the oversold reading, we don't close the trade. All right. Did we get an oversold reading? Yes, we did. 29.4609. That is going to be grounds to go ahead and close our trade. So we just made another profitable trade. And now we have to reverse it and go long. Okay. So it's a simple strategy. It does get a little exciting more, more so when, you know, when drawdowns occur. But again, this is the concept that we're testing. By the way, guys, I should take a moment to pause. If you guys are liking the software that I'm using to test this concept, I test different concepts pretty much every month on this. Um, and if you enjoy this backtesting session and you would like to do some of your own backtesting, we do have some cool stuff here for you. So first of all, um, the software that I'm using is called Forex Tester 5. And there is some stuff here that I need to share. So first of all, uh, I just dropped it in the chat for you guys. They have a huge discount going on if you use the coupon code that is on the screen. So if you like this software and you even want to think about it, they have a trial, but do yourself a favor, write this code down, 8FT5DISC link. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on one second. That is, uh, I just, the, okay, hold on. It's eight. Okay, let me, let me fix this. Sorry, guys, I'm operating solo right now. Um, okay, here you go. 
this is the discount code. So write this down. If you have any interest in the software, I want to encourage you to take their free trial for sure. But on top of that, if you do decide to upgrade, you'll get a, you'll get a big discount if you use this code. And again, this is also supporting the stream. They are our sponsors here today. So check this out. If you would like the software uh, to try it out yourself, you can take their trial. I'm dropping a link now in the chat as well. This link will take you to where you can sign up for a trial to check out more information about the software that I'm using. If you want to check it out for yourself, again, write down on a piece of paper or a notepad somewhere, this code, this coupon code will get you a significant discount if you do decide in the future to pick up the software yourself. I highly recommend it. It's quite, quite a good software. Anyways, let's keep going. Again, we are in a buy trade because we stuck to the rules here, right? Now we are in a buy trade. The simple concept, Modern Gameplay says, I didn't understand the concept. Can you explain it again? Modern Gameplay, I don't want to keep explaining it over and over. So just watch with us here. I'll try and explain it as I go along. We are waiting for an overbought or oversold reading to buy or sell. In this case, we are in a long trade and we are waiting for it to reach the other extreme to close out the trade and to reverse the trade and go short, right? So in this case, let's see what happens with this buy trade. And again, we have multiple RSIs because if the chart goes against us further, it is a mean version strategy where we are going to pick up additional positions, okay? So um, let's see what happens. We're waiting for, in this case, our first buy is the RSI 4. We're looking for an overbought reading here in order to potentially close out of a trade. Oh, I missed a trade, guys. Sorry, I was talking. I'm trying to explain too much. I was supposed to take my second trade right here. You could see that was the signal, but it's okay. We'll, we'll just... You know, this is why we back test. And, and honestly, if you're going to back test, you should probably do it without live streaming it. Uh, if you want full results, that's why this is more of a demonstration because, again, uh, it's hard to, to speak over and explain at the same time as diligently back test. But at the same time, if I was just sitting here without saying a word, probably wouldn't be very, uh, wouldn't be very uh, useful or exciting. I'm trying to explain stuff. So I paused it. We had an overbought reading print, guys. So we had our move to the upside here that we were looking for. So this is grounds to sell or close the trades. So we're going to close our trade. We took another profitable trade here. So this is three for three right now, three profitable trades in a row. And the next thing we need to do is, again, we got an overbought reading. So it's time to reverse the trade and to sell this market. So now we are back in another sell trade, okay? So sell trade is opened on this RSI. We don't have any other readings from the 7 of 14. So let's see if we do get another reading. If we do get an additional reading here and three bars have closed uh, since our last trade, that is going to be grounds to take another position, okay? So if this reaches overbought, it still doesn't qualify until we get three consecutive candles that close outside. So we're not taking any additional trades until three bars have closed. Okay, three bars have closed. We are overbought on the RSI 7 period. This, guys, is grounds for our second trade. Same trade size. We're going to sell this market a second time. So we have two trades open now. And the RSI 14 is now what we are watching for a potential third trade. Okay? All right. If this thing... Okay, one bar has closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. We're wait Actually, this could be grounds for our third trade. All right. Did it close overbought? No, it didn't. Okay. We didn't get an overbought reading. If it does continue to go higher, do we get, get an overbought? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Okay. No third trade. We're waiting for a potential third trade here. Did we get an overbought? Nope. 69.76. It's very close, but we are currently, let's watch how this candle closes to see if we get a third potential trade going short on the euro dollar. Did we get it? No, we didn't. So, all right, did we get it here? We did. So this is grounds to take our third trade. And again, you can see we're not using a stop loss on this trade. So we're testing this out. This is why we're on a demo, right? We're demonstrating a strategy. We're, we're taking trades hypothetically. You can see we're draw, our drawdown is currently $19. So we're testing this concept to see how it would have performed, okay? This is the whole point of backtesting. We're not putting any real money on the, on the line. So if this chart just goes screaming higher and causes us to have a loss, right, that's part of the game plan, right? This is why we're testing. So again, what we are waiting for now, guys, is to close out each trade, we are waiting for the opposite signal. So to close out the four period, we still, uh, this first trade, we're looking to the four hour, I'm sorry, the four period um, RSI to close out the first trade. 
I know this is a little bit more of an advanced strategy than perhaps usually. Okay, we got 30.9, so we're waiting to see how this candle closes. And this is gonna be our close the first trade rule guide. Let's see, um, watching this candle. All right, candle closed, oversold. So we are actually going to close our first trade. This is a minus $7 loss, and we just closed it. So we closed our first one, we still have two trades open. So now the question is, let's see what happens here. If we can get a bigger rollover, we may be able to close our second trade. Okay, still waiting here. And this is a good example. This is an example of a tougher scenario. It's not just working out perfectly. This is actually working against us, right? So we're having to test a hard example. That's why we back test. All right, so we're watching this candle close. See how it closes here. All right, closed. Did it close oversold? Uh, it did. So we did get the reading. So we're going to close our second trade for a loss. Whoops. I don't want to modify. I want to close this one and we're out. So we took a loss in this first one. We took a loss in the second one. The question is now, can the third one be closed for a profit? Are we going to be able to get a profit on the RSI 14? Or is this market going to start going back up? So let's watch. We're going to let this one play out for a minute. All right. It's coming down nicely. So this trade is in profit. We're waiting on an oversold reading on the 14. We're close. Let's slow it down here so we can not miss the exit. And again, guys, as we wait for this trade to close out, the software I'm using is called Forex Tester 5. They are today's sponsor uh, and a big uh, supporter of our channel, uh, both on the A1 trading side as well as the Trader Nick side. Both channels are, are uh, financially supported by these guys. It's an amazing software. I do genuinely only promote stuff that I think is very worth uh, looking into. If you're a serious trader, you should be back testing. And if you're not back testing, check out Forex Tester. It is worth the investment. Their price is like super low compared to what you're getting out of this. It is an amazing software that they've put a ton of blood, sweat, and tears into building for traders to essentially be able to test historical data. All right, guys, we're waiting to see if we can get this oversold reading that is going to be getting out of our last trade here, which would be cool because this would actually, I think if it, if it does get oversold, we might actually come out with a slight profit or break even, even though we've taken three trades trying to go counter trend here. All right, a little bit speed up just a bit more. Let's see if we can get that reading here. All right, I think we got it. Yep, we did get it. So now, guys, we're closing a $13 profit here. All right, so here's the cool thing. We sold, we sold, we sold. Two of these trades, one of, one of them was a very small loss. The other was a loss. And this third one, though, was a beautiful counter trend sell. Look at this. So we sold this market pretty much at the highs with this strategy and we caught the full reversal. So what I like about this strategy, let's talk strategy here for a second and let's talk about um, you know, the pros and cons here. Pros are that this actually is really cool for timing. Like instead of having to time perfectly, right? A lot of traders find entries to be the hardest part of trading, myself included. They're very difficult. This strategy allows you to be more flexible on entries. We entered three times. So we got a general idea of where we want to sell. Instead of just trying to sell outright one time, we sold three times with small positions on each one, and we were able to catch the reversal and make some pretty good money. So let's take a look at where we're at. Are we actually even up? Let's see. Yeah, we're up. So between all the trades so far on this strategy, so we've taken a good, it's not a big sample size by any means, but we're... We're able to see here that we've taken one, two, three, four, five, six trades. And what's cool here, guys, is you can actually take a look at your statistics. So I wanna, let's see if I can find this charts. Um, I wanna take a look at my statistics, data, strategies, uh, windows, statistics. Here it is. I always like taking a look at this. So obviously, 
when you guys are doing your back testing, you shouldn't just do uh, whatever we did, six trades, right? You should not be doing just six trades. You should be doing hundreds of trades to get an idea of how well your strategies performed. The point here with these streams is to show you an example what back testing kind of looks like. So what we can see here is that we've got to look at our stats. So we have um, overall, we only traded about one day of data. Now, this is a five minute chart strategy that we were testing here today. So this is lower time frame. We took six trades. We took four profitable trades and two losses. Uh, we took three wins in a row. We at one point lost two trades in a row. We traded with this strategy. We averaged, again, this is only a very tiny amount, about 4.85 trades per day trades per month, this would get you up to like 148 trades per month on average. That's a lot. Uh, that's very, very active. And on average, that projects to 99 profitable trades per month and 49 losing trades per month on average so far, just on this tiny sample size that we've done. The biggest profit that we made was $13.10. And the biggest loss that we made was $7.40. Overall, the net profit was $12.60. Again, we were using really small lots to test this concept. The gross profit was 22.4. Gross loss was 9.80. And the profit per month average on this would be about $310 on a $10,000 account. That's not bad, right? That's 3% per month. I, I know it's not glamorous, but doing that over time could yield pretty good results. Of course, we tested this specifically on the euro dollar. So if you're looking at this strategy and say, well, let's actually see how this would perform. I would highly recommend you spend some time, some real time, getting more sample size. This is only six trades and we could be here. We could do this for a couple hours together. But again, I've got to move on. We've got a daily stream to get started on. So we're streaming the news and all that sort of stuff. Are you streaming the news? We are coming on. Uh, it's one of those long days. I'm, I'm putting in overtime. I'm starting early here today and then we're going to go into our usual stream. So uh, stick around for those who are looking for that. Profit factor 2.29, return percentage was point. One three, um, max lot size. We we use the same lot size overall, uh, uh, 0.1 per trade, uh, so on and so forth. About 67% win rate, 33% loss rate. Okay, so what did we learn? Well, the first thing you need to know is that this strategy that we tested out is very flexible. It's very adaptive, and you could add more RSI periods if you want to add more trades. Perhaps you reduce your position size further, or you could do less. Maybe you only want to do that. Uh, maybe two. Maybe you could add a max loss. Maybe a max drawdown instead of using a hard stop. Perhaps you say if it goes down by you know 50 bucks, I just close all the trades. Right. Those things are things that you can test. And my goal with these streams is not to you know, just give you an all encompassing easy answer by any means. It's to give you the tools that you need to go test these concepts yourself. So as we close out the stream, let me remind you guys, we do have a promo code with uh, the Forex tester people. They've set us up with the premium version. Uh, you can actually get a free trial on their website. So if you click this link, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop that in the chat again here. Um, copy link. All right, guys. So this right here, it is a strategy for lower time frames, five and 15 minute chart. Uh, modern gameplay, it is. Uh, but again, please, just because you saw me do it in a stream for, for 20 minutes, this is not a thorough backtest. I don't. I have not backtested this concept thoroughly. That's what we did on the stream. We only did a couple minutes here. You should probably have hundreds of trade details before you decide to trade a strategy. So highly recommended. Check out the software here. Get it for yourself. And the other thing I want to share is that if you guys use the code that's on the screen right now... This code, write this down. This will get you a huge discount on the software if you decide you want it, okay? Write this down, put it on a piece of paper, put it on a notepad on your computer, whatever you use to write notes to yourself. Write this down and use that code. It'll get you a discount if you decide to sign up for um, access to Forex Tester. Okay, that's gonna wrap up this portion of the stream, guys. We're gonna come back. Uh, actually, hold on one second, one second. Let me not forget here. We do have our two additional winners. Um, I don't want to forget to do this. So Emily helped us out with this, um, this process that we talked about here, guys. We had some technical difficulties with the giveaway site. These two numbers, 284-10068 and 28275296. If you are a Forex Tester user, we do giveaways every month. We give away free access to this software and we gave away an iPhone 14 today. If you guys don't already have Forex Tester, just by getting access to it, you're entered into uh, random giveaways that we do on the stream each month. So these two people 
who already have access to Forex Tester, they got access to lifetime data here following the stream. If this is your number or this is your number, I know a lot of you guys watch these streams, you just qualified for lifetime free access to Forex Tester 5. And again, uh, it's your if you are with Forex Tester, you're automatically entered into it. So again, thank you guys for tuning into this backtesting session. I hope you learned something. I certainly enjoyed doing it. And now we are on to our regularly scheduled show. We'll be back online in just a moment for those of you guys who are ready for daily analysis. Tune in in just a second. See you guys. Thanks again for watching today's show. Our goal at A1 Trading is to continue to share free value to our audience through daily videos and articles, keeping you up to date with the latest market coverage. If you enjoy our content, make sure to subscribe for more. And remember, you can improve your trading performance 30 times faster with Forex Tester 5. Backtest your strategies using real historical data. From all of us at A1 Trading, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.